Hi there, so I thought I'd do a quick kit review of <laughs> the FX beach buggy. Now, I don't think I had this back in the day, but this is the, the vintage um, classic release by Airfix and I uh, thought it would be fun to build um, typical Airfix one bag of parts what looks like the new style instructions we'll come back to that in a minute and set of decal number plates um, and a little Union Jack as well so before we go any further let's have a look at the instructions so the instructions are look like they're in a new format but then this is one sheet of paper and uh, when you open it up it gives you the guide for the assembly instructions but in fact I suspect that these diagrams are from the original instructions but just blown up um, artwork it's <laughs> yeah okay um, and, and this is another thing that makes me think that's what or what was done I, I think on the original artwork and I could be wrong someone out there probably tell me but I've got a faith feeling that these things like number plates were the ones that you the paper ones that we used to cut out and stick on but it's a fairly straightforward build um, first part is to put the engine together and the transmission stuff um, there onto a sub chassis um, which is typical of the Volkswagen and, and beach buggies so you've got a sub chassis um, the numbers in the um, circles, thank you, go on a motorbike, just going past, um, look to me to be the part numbers and the numbers not in circles, 21, 18, 18, um, is the colour call out colour call out for the body is 45 which I believe is a humbrol orange colour um, I don't know if it gives you that's interesting so 18 is a gloss orange colour yeah good 45 is a part number um, very, com very complicated these uh, these uh, old school instructions but anyway that's the instructions fairly straightforward I mean it, it, it's pretty much a beginner's kit so let's have a look at the parts given that this is old tooling um, we think that uh, the, the parts will be the parts call out would be or the parts would be quite poor but let's have a look so actually parts don't look too bad I wonder if they've reworked the tooling then um, doesn't appear to be any flash on there um, yeah, it's a little you know there's no flash as such and maybe they've um, just cleaned up the moulds that's the dug them out at Margate and shipped them out um, to uh, India where's it to, where's it say it's built or made manufactured in Margate uh, it's got cartograph decals we'll come back to those um, yeah, parts seem to be quite neatly moulded. Um, there's a bit of a seam line around the figures, but <laughs> that's 
quite neat. Didn't see an instrument to go in there, but maybe there is. Body shell, crikey, that's tiny. Um, <laughs> and the underside. Um, hey, brilliant. F Airfix Products Limited, 1971 this tooling. And the clear plastic parts. Again, quite neat. Headlights. I think there's a bit of an inch. Uh, that part there looks like it might be the instrument panel. Let's have a look. Don't really like to open the clear plastic parts. Um, don't want to get them scratched, do we? Um, well, they're already scratched on the yeah on the windscreen. Scratches. Scratches on that already. Oh well, they should polish out, I think. On that one anyway. What's that? That's the rear part of the body. And that's the windscreen. Hmm. Yeah. Oh well. Windscreen looks okay. No, there's a scratch on it. A scratch. Yeah, yeah, there's some scratches on it. But that's what you know, that one plastic bag isn't going to protect it in the in the rest of the packaging. And yeah, there's the, the decals, two different sets of number plates, Union Jack and a trumpet, whatever that's for. Um and by cartograph. And typical good quality cartograph decals. Hmm. Interesting. So, I'll make a start on the build of this at some point. I'll keep all the parts in the plastic, they don't see much point. And we'll get on and make a start, I think. Interesting. So, let's see how we get on. So, welcome back. Um, so the first thing that I've done is done stage one of the beach buggy, um, which is the assembly here of essentially all the parts to make the engine up. And it, it's it's quite okay, I suppose, for the time. Um, I'm trying to get the camera to focus, but yeah, it's. Um, It's not liking it. It's not liking it at all. Right. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's not bad for the time. Um, you know, it's a little bit skew whiff. So there's a, a bit of work to be done just to keep it fairly square when it sits into into the chassis but that's okay so looking ahead um, the there is a this sort of subframe that whoops goes on to the underside get it right of the floor pan and in actual fact, sorry, that's the underside of the floor pad. This was the point, which got got some quite nice detail on it. However, the drive shaft goes above the floor pad, obviously where the seats are and all that. But of course, it's right on top of where it says Airfix. Products Limited, which I think is a bit of a shame. Um, so that will have to be sanded off before I can go any further with that part of the assembly. Um, but the next bit will be putting the engine together and putting it onto that that part of the vehicle. 
um, one, one part that I have left off of the engine, quite deliberately, tiny little thing, which is the fan belt cover, um, I think, if, if my memory serves me right. Um, I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to paint that a separate colour. Um, the instructions are basically says paint, 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 paint all parts silver. Paint all parts silver. Paint all parts silver. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, obviously, when this was originally created, silver was probably the closest thing you had to metal paint or metal, metal colour paints. So I'm going to use the next stage will be to do things like uh, do some chrome finishes and do some iron finishes and what have you. But uh, yeah, a little bit of progress. Well, back to the beach buggy. Um, so a lot of uh, a lot of the motor parts, suspension parts, and that, um, according to the instructions, are painted silver. And it doesn't give you any guides in here because obviously it's one of the early kits. But uh, rather than paint all of these things assembled, which might have been easy, might have been easier, but you won't get good paint coverage. So what I've done is gone through the kit and taken all of the parts that are there as silver and done small sub assemblies like things like this um, that's the hand, hand brake and the gear shift on the transmission um, obviously that, that can be all silver one of the things that I'll do is put some mask hole I use um, this uh, MIG liquid mask I find this really good um, put it on the ends of parts here that I know where we're gonna be assembling other parts to it um, and I'll do that before before we go much further but basically taking all of the small parts and give them a coat of paint before um, before we go much further so there's things here that, that are like uh, this is like part of the bumpers I suppose whatever um, but then the engine assembly um, I can give that all over uh, a coat um, and again that that would be fairly straightforward to do once that's all done with a with a coat primer a coat of, of may, maybe aluminium something of that nature and then and then give it a wash um, tempted with this sort of fan belt cover or timing cover I'm not sure what that is um, to do that in a gloss black um, that might be an interesting because it'll, it'll then stand out from the rest of the rest of the engine parts and then you've got the floor pan here um, as previously stated I had to sand off all of the reference there to airfix which was a shame could have could have kept it but it was on it, it was going to be under the the sort of dry transmission thing so yeah shame so all of these will be now given a coat of primer and a coat of paint interestingly I did spot they actually say paint the battery black uh, it's paint the battery silver um, no nah, paint the battery black um, you know go and have a look at most cars the battery's black you might have a silver cover over it or a chrome cover um, chrome cover on Harleys and things like that because they, they stand out and they pop quite nicely but with this one I think uh, what I might do is uh, just give it a coat of black and then pick out the the connectors here maybe a brass colour or something like that just to let, let, let that have a little bit of something on it but these are now, now go for primer into the paint shop and get done and I'll come back to you so then onwards with the beach buggy uh, it's a little sub assembly with the with the bodywork um, and the 
the tub and front plate there and a little um, section underneath the bodywork there um, so anyway that's all together that's now stuck onto this piece of MDF with a bit of double sided that's ready for paint the seats have been taken off the sprues tidied up and the, and the dashboard again off the sprue tidied up stuck onto here with some double sided tape and they're ready for paint um, there's a, a tonneau cover uh, that's off the sprue tidied up ready for primer and paint oh that's good right I've done a minor sub assembly to the front suspension um, just to get that together because this, this, these parts can be painted together so that's down for for primer this part I've left one one of the sprue gates on there um, this is the shield under the under the motor so the part that's actually seen is that part there um, through through the motor so that uh, get that coat of uh, primer and then gloss black and the wheels have been assembled they're quite that's quite a neat little assembly actually but I've assembled all the wheels and filed those tidy those up they'll get some black primer and then we'll give them a, a chrome finish on the on the wheel hubs uh, steering wheel that's ready for paint and the twin exhausts or the two exhausts off of the engine um, what I've done is I've actually don't know if the camera will focus on this don't know if we'll see what it does uh, I've drilled out the end of the the uh, exhaust just to give it an extra little bit of realism um, we can paint those silver or chrome or whatever and then just put a little bit of black in there uh, as, as far as we are with that and that'll get uh, I'll get painted with primer right now okay having now applied the paint gloss black seats wheels and tires body shell with the tonic cover the basically the, the whole of the, the car uh, next stage assembly decals and the lights um, so the lights obviously you've got indicators and stop lights so these lights will have to be painted so what we're going to do is just give them a dab of paint on the reverse of them so that when you look at them the colour should come through on there and with the headlights similar sort of thing put a drop of silver on the reverse here not a great deal don't cover it all up but just a dab of silver and that will give us the headlamps so hopefully with all of that put the whole thing together job will be done and finally the little buggy is complete um, it's a great fun little build um, I'll just stick it in the in the display case with the rest of the fun build um, hope you liked it hope you liked the video um, please like and subscribe and uh, see you on the next one thanks for watching